All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Adesanya is three years his senior. He is four inches taller. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Leon Rocky Edwards. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we are, the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong and we've been omnipresent ever since. John, we kicked the door in. Yes. If you're gonna open, if you're gonna say you're welcome in MSG, the you Oh! Oh, oh! Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Punch over the top. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad.
All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Side control now. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Edwards gets up and decides to take this fight back to the feet, despite having a dominant position on the ground. Oh, big head kick there. Wow, what a kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all limbs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. 30 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Israel Adesanya's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Head kick. Effective strike there by Adesanya. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Just over two minutes to go. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Edwards' is lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Close guard. Edwards has got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. He's the second guillotine. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Sauce reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that shot. Oh! Huge right hand! So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Yeah, you ready? You ready? Let's go, All guys, right. fight. round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. 
And that is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards. And as usual, DC, letting his fighting do the talking tonight. Letting his fight. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big leg kick land. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Lands with the right hand. Vicious combo there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Big power shot there. strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon.